everybody, my name is Chase Pipes and you're watching Chasing History, brought to you by American Digger Magazine and we are the educational arm of the Smoky Mountain Relic Room and we're out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> northwestern Montana in grizzly bear wolf country, just saw a wolf, but we're out here for a good reason and that's to try to teach you guys about fossils and the biggest thing that we're trying to show to you guys right now is, is how important it is to get out and to save fossils because right now fossils are in huge, huge, huge danger and they always have been, not from people digging them up, but from the natural element and environment like this bone right here. We're here with our good buddy Eamon Yeager hey, Chase, from Northwest Montana Fossils. <laughs> Eamon, thanks dude. Anytime. We appreciate you having us out to your site. What do we got going on here, dude? So what we have here is what looks like a gigantic duckbill femur. Mm -hmm. um, it's about two and a half, maybe getting closer to three feet long. And uh, there was about 15-20% of it that was just eroding out of the hillside. So this is one that was found just in time, honestly. You know, it looks pretty rough on this side, but once we flip it and get it out of the ground, it's going to look, look a lot better on that more preserved side that was still, you know, in situ and in the ground here and intact. You know, just maybe another couple of years or so, and we would have completely missed this, missed our opportunity to grab this guy before it's just too far gone. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, there's a lot going on here. Uh, so, so we're in the Two Medicine Formation, right? Yep, yep, absolutely. So how big is the Two Medicine Formation? You know, the Two Medicine is hundreds of miles long, running north to south, and it goes all the way up in Canada, and it goes all the way down to central Montana. Okay, so Canada, like, 150 miles that way. Uh, yes, close to that. I think probably closer to like 90, 100 or so. All right, so 100 um, miles that way. Yep, yep. Continuous. Yep. Continuous, yeah. And then 400 miles that way? Oh, closer to probably 250, 400 or 250 so. 250 so, yeah, miles that way. This yeah. is a huge formation, and there's bone all along it. You know, and how rare is the bone in the two medicine? You know, formation? honestly, the hydrosaur bones aren't very rare at all. Yeah. And same with the other duckbill bones. Now, now rare dinosaurs are, of course, more rare. You know, yeah. that's why they're rare dinosaurs. But the bone itself that you find to other species of dinosaurs, it's really common. You know, yeah. it's out there. It's it's really hard to miss, especially once you develop a trained eye for it. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the common thing that yeah. that's happening right now. There's no telling how many more of these are right now exposed on the surface, yeah. being destroyed by yep. nature and the natural elements. Yep, yep. You know, I, I've been hunting this ranch for about seven years now, and the first couple of years, this is exactly what we did. We walked around this ranch and we tried to find specimens like this coming out of the ground already that are halfway gone. You know, to rescue them, to learn about the formation, learn what kind of dinosaurs are here, and also just learn what kind of elements are going to have their bones, like what kind of beds, what kind of layers, things like that. So th we went through this ranch pretty meticulously and hunted just about every single one down that we could find. Uh, we went through this place with pretty well a fine tooth comb, and this is a fine example of one years later that's just starting to erode out, and this is why we do it that way. Yeah. So, so the first time that you were probably out here, the ground level a couple years ago was probably just just, just covering just it more covering than likely. It. Yeah. You know, and, and you can tell by the heavy plant growth. I took out a big huge bush that was over here. This that bush had been covering this or this fossil for gosh, probably 15 years, 10 years, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been a minute. And you know, so. these bushes and plants are there for a reason. And that's because these bones right here have minerals in it that the plants want. Not only the plants want the minerals and are getting in here and destroying these bones, but the cows also. So if you're on oh, a cattle cows. ranch, yeah. the cows will actually eat the dinosaur bone to get the minerals out of it. That is just truly insane, I know. man. It's something you would never think of, but no. I've, I've literally seen it before. You've literally yes. watched <laughs> Yes. Just chomp a bone. Yeah. 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 So, so see the thing is guys is this is what we're trying to bring you and try to teach you about is is that you know these whereas you know dinosaur fossils are not rare there's just not a lot of people out there hunting it. You know this is one ranch you know and there are thousands of ranches out there and hundreds of miles of this formation where this very thing is happening right now. There's only a handful of people that are out there commercially hunting for dinosaur fossils like Eamon does, you know? And so they, these fossils are in greater danger due to just this natural <laughs> erosion than it is by people out collecting it. Yeah. So fossils aren't rare. There are just not a lot of people out hunting it. and. We, we, we need to get out and save this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, it's just going to go to waste and no one's going to ever get to treasure it. No one's going to get to learn from it. You know, it, it, people like us are the ones that are kind of rescuing this. You know, most universities, most academics, 
you know, they're not out trying to hunt for this kind of stuff. And, you know, they kind of, they can only have so many duckbill bones in their collection or in their archives before, yeah. hey, we have enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, what's interesting so. is, is we've already done this video. We've already brought you guys this video. Actually, we've brought you several of these videos mm -hmm. because we're trying to drive this point home. And we're able to bring you video after video after video after video of fossils being destroyed by just nature because <laughs> it's a common thing. Yeah. So go back into our archive and look at those videos and it's different stuff yeah. so yeah all right so what's what what are you going to do on this guy so next up we have to do what's called trenching so we got to dig all the way around this guy and get him on a little pedestal yep and then we got to make a little jacket to get him out now usually we'd like to try to take these bones out in sections especially if they can have clean breaks things like that um, but in this case this guy's going to come out in a big jacket all so, right cool yep so it's gonna be a bit of work cool <laughs> well i'm gonna relax and all watch right. you do this <laughs> This, dude, this turned out awesome. Yeah, this has actually turned out to be a very good bone. Yeah. I'm really glad we actually saved this before the elements got to it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But I mean, you can see just now that it's all exposed, I mean, you can really, really see what this thing looks like. You know, you've got this whole root section coming in here that just destroyed the whole middle of this yeah. bone. You know, you got this end wore off, roots coming out. I mean, roots really love this bone. Why is it that roots get into this? So there's a lot of minerals inside the bone, and there's also a lot of crystals as well, calcium, things like that, and calcite. So the roots themselves and the plants are actually drawn to the bone because they pull the minerals just like they would pull any kind of nutrients out of the soil. Yeah. But instead they have this big fixed log here that is just chock full of nutrients for them and they just love it. They just dive so, right to yep, it. Yep, so, they go right for it. Well, this is awesome, man. So we're gonna jack it up. Yep. What are you what are you what are your plans with it? Well, so we're gonna take this back to the lab over in Whitefish, Montana here, and uh, we're gonna prep it out, clean it up, and then mount it onto a big stand and try to get it out to the public and try to educate people about this. And if someone would like to pick it up for the private collection, hopefully we can work a deal out. Nice. So. This, this is a fantastic piece, man. And it's just so important that this thing got saved because in another couple years with the roots the way they are, this would have been totally destroyed and totally gone. And there are bones like this literally 100 and whatever miles that way and 300 whatever miles <laughs> yeah. that way. This right here is happening right now all along this and all along every formation that has dinosaur fossils to be found. That's why it's so important for people like Eamon to get out here and to save this stuff before the natural elements, which is the most dangerous thing to fossils, are the natural elements, not Absolutely. people. Thank you, dude. Thanks so much oh, for having time, us man. out, man. Absolutely. Thank you, Chase. And Absolutely. thank you for watching us. If people want to get a hold of you, where can they get a hold of you? You know, the best place to get a hold of us is on our Facebook. It's Northwest Montana Fossils. Um, we check that Facebook every day. We love talking to people about fossils. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. And of course, all of our stuff is for sale too. So if you ever see anything on Chasing History or anything, you know, within our website there that, or within our Facebook page there that you like and you want it for your own collection, we'd be happy to accommodate that. Awesome. So. And you can check us out because we are Chasing History. This is the educational arm of the Smoky Mountain Relic Room, the largest diversity of history for sale anywhere in North America. Go to our website, therelicroom.com. Check us out on Facebook at Smoky Mountain Relic Room, Instagram, same thing, Smoky Mountain Relic Room. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us how we're doing. Tell us what kind of videos you want to see. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, dude, there's a lot of bones eroding on hillsides just like this. We can take it and show it to you. So anyway, we appreciate you guys watching. And remember, history rocks. Woohoo! ever ever be on Twitter. What? You? Nope. Nope. Twitter's about as dead as this dinosaur bone. <laughs> uh, Casey? Oh.
You know what? I'm not on it either. It's worthless. It's where evil resides. <laughs> yes! Where evil resides. We're never on Twitter. <laughs>